today the topic of discussion is in sparse matrix so prior to this we have seen sparse matrix what is the sparse matrix and we have discussed introduction and representation of that sparse matrix so i request you if you are directly coming to this video kindly watch the video and in this video we'll study address calculation of sparse matrix that how address is calculated we have also created few videos on array address calculation where we have made video on one dimension two dimension and multi dimension so i request you to kindly watch those videos so that that will make your concept more clear so let's start with a sparse matrix address calculation so uh, you have given a question uh, and then you have uh, here you have have to make a formula here you have to you know uh, derive a formula of uh, of uh, how to represent how to represent how to store sparse matrix element especially non zero elements so let's start let's start so let's start with uh, the figure figure is in front of you the figure is showing that this figure has these element as non zero and all those element which are above this diagonal are zero element so we are not so we are not you, you are, we are not keeping these zeros element fine okay because i we don't want to waste because the advantage of sparse matrix is to store store space st storage storage space wastage it's, it's it's reduce wastage we do not store zero value suppose we want to place in a memory the triangular array a this is the triangular array a shown in figure 4.22 this is the figure clearly it would be wasteful to store entries above main diagonal because it it will be you know wasteful to store these these values why since we know that all are zero because we know all the values are zero hence we store only other entries so we'll store only these values fine so we'll only store these values okay uh, of a linear in a linear array b and we'll store this value in a linear array as initiated by the arrows so how it is initiated by the arrows let's see suppose i've created a initiate uh, a, a linear array and you know you, when you have studied when you have studied array address calculation of two dimension or n dimension you have seen all the all the uh, memory representation is linear fashion either it's row major order it's column major order but always it's a linear fashion similarly if it's a sparse matrix also it will store in a linear fashion so suppose i'm storing these element in a linear fashion so suppose b is an array where i'm storing these element and suppose the index index start from one two three four five six seven eight nine dash 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 fine okay dash 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 fine okay and suppose this is n now i'm storing a11 at b1 i'm storing a21 a21 at b2 i'm storing a22 at b3 i'm storing a31 at b4 i'm storing a 3 2 at b5 fine so this is how i'm storing elements now the main question is now the main question is by putting few elements starting element it will be easy for you to judge that it that in which index of b a32 is coming if i'm asking in which index a32 is coming you say 5 if i'm asking in which index a22 is coming you say 3 you need not required any formula but what if this matrix is n cross n matrix and i am saying at which index 12 comma 7 will exist that is where 12 comma 7 will exist what you will do you will keep on putting those elements no that is practically not possible so in that case you need some formula that by putting values in that formula that by putting that this 12 and 7 in that formula you directly get some index so that you can say that at this index this a127 is coming so hope you understand what the question is all about the question is to tell you at which index that is uh, at which index if i'm saying ajk i just wanted to know at which index so the question is at which index this ajk will come in matrix b fine okay so let's start let's start by uh, uh, creating a formula so if i'm writing number of elements read it carefully number of elements number of elements above above row j of a j k i'm saying number of element above row j that is above row j if i'm saying suppose this is a 
this will be a41 this will be a42 this will be a43 then this will be a44 again a5 will start fine so if i am saying i need to calculate the address of a4 a43 fine a43 what i will do in that case so i am saying the number of element above row 4 fine so the number of element above row j of ajk will be will be will be equal to j into sorry equal to 1 plus this is 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 two elements then 3 plus 4 plus dash 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 j minus 1 I'm saying this that number of element above row j of a j k will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus j minus 1 so this is making you confused how you're writing this how now first let me write and make a formula now what is this this is addition summation of n consecutive number so what is the formula formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 where n is j minus 1 then put in the formula j n into n plus 1 by 2 so this will get discarded so you will have finally j into j minus 1 by 2 so this is what this is number of element so what is this this is number of element above above row j above row j the the element which we are looking for above the so you want the proof of this yes is this formula is correct till now now the thing is this if suppose i want to calculate uh, address of a43 so what is the value of j i'm only considering j right now so i'm saying the number of element above j will be j into j minus 1 by 2 Form, question is a j k where we have a 4 3 so j into what is j 4 into 4 minus 1 that is 3 by 2 then 2 2 will get cancelled 2 and into 3 will have 6 so number of element above a 4 3 will be 6 count now count number of element above rho j rho this is rho j this is rho j 1 i'm sorry i'm so sorry wait this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Absolutely correct formula. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct formula. So, uh, is my formula completely done? No. It's just, you know, we have calculated that number of element above J. So, the number of element above J will be J into J minus 1 by 2 using, using what? N into N plus 1 by so I'll rub all these things. I'll rub all these things. Fine, and I'll 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 only write this step. I'll only write this step. I'll I'll rub all these things. So uh, what is this? One plus two plus three plus dash 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 and j minus one. So the number of element you are getting is this. Fine. Is my formula complete? No. Now we have completed only one part. That how many elements are there above row j? But we want the index of a j k so now number of element at k that is at kth index fine of a j k will be equal to j minus j into j minus 1 here you have calculated plus k that is if you want total number of element till a j k is uh, total number of element is the index if you are starting from one is this so now we want the proof of this again put a 4 3 j is 4 k is 3 so j into 4 into 4 minus 1 3 by 2 plus k what is k now 3 now 2 2 4 2 3 6 6 plus 3 9 so if you see how many element you know number of element till a 4 3 are including a 4 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven eight nine exactly so a43 will come at index nine a43 will come at index nine now if you want a formula a where this a12 and 5 will come so j is 12 and 5 is k so put in the formula j into that is 12 into 12 minus 1 11 by 2 plus 5 now 2 6 12 66 plus 5 is what 72 at 71th location this a12 5 will exist so hope you understood the formula so this is the formula this is the formula this is the formula of calculating what 
uh, any index of sparse matrix if sparse matrix is stored at using try uh, using uh, you know using a diagonal matrix using diagonal matrix fine so it's a formula of sparse matrix to calculate the index if matrix is stored using diagonal fine 